Right. Today we're going to talk about the 404 error. Now, the 404 error occurs when somebody clicks on a link or types in a URL that is no longer valid. It's no longer found. There's multiple reasons for why that might be. It's pot potentially the user changed the URL somehow. Let me show you an example of this. Um, let me go to, let's just go to any page on my website. Okay, so I've got this page on my uh, real estate website and it's for Summerlin, okay? Well, here's the URL up here, valenvegas.com slash locations slash Las Vegas slash Summerlin. Now let me click edit showcase. See this URL here? I'm gonna click edit. And what happens is people without realizing change this slug, this, this keyword, the word that comes after that slash. If you change that slug, it's no longer a valid link. Now, if you're using WordPress and you have Yoast Premium on your website, if you were to change that slug, Yoast would automatically create a redirect that says, if anybody clicks on this old link, slash Summerlin, then send them to this new link, whatever you had put after the slash. And it takes care of all that stuff for you, which is incredibly nice. But if you don't have that set up and you change that slug, you're gonna be breaking links all over the place. And this happens quite frequently when people are beginning and they don't know any better and they think they just want to make a uh, you know a sexier permalink or they want to put a keyword in there or something and they change it without realizing, okay? Um, could also be maybe you switch from HTTP to HTTPS and the redirects weren't done correctly. Um, redirects not being done correctly is a, is a large reason why we have um, 404s. If you delete a page, you just straight out delete a page without doing any kind of redirect, you'll have, you could have a 404 page not found. So there's lots of reasons for that. Now what happens is in many cases, um, let's see if we can find a, 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 a 404 page. Let me try something. Walmart.com slash um, window cat. I'm trying to, I'm typing in a URL I know won't be there. Oops, hold on, walmart.com, yeah. That would be funny if it came up with WindowCat. Okay, this is a great example, okay? So you just get a basic page that says, sorry, this page cannot be found. Now, the nice thing about this particular page is they do have a very obvious call to action with that search bar where the user can start searching. And they also have a button here that says, go to our homepage. So it's not completely dead, right? Let's look up another one. Um, petsupplies.com slash cat dog mouse. <laughs> okay. All right. So they have created a custom 404 page here that allows the person to go back to the home page, visit their top categories, browse their site map, contact them, and then they have a very comprehensive menu. So again, these are great. Um, but sometimes you'll just see a large oops, this page cannot be found and there's no other direction to send them. That's not what we want. We want to make sure that if they land on a page that cannot be found, that we're giving them direction. And a lot of people have a lot of fun with this and make it silly and use funny pictures. In fact, I think I'm going to add a video to mine. But let's take a look. Here's my real estate one. All right, so I'm acknowledging the fact that the page that they were looking for can't be found. But I'm immediately adding a call to action where they can find out what their home is worth. They can contact us immediately. I have a testimonial. And then I have some buttons here to our top, um, to our top articles that, that many people like. And then I have some related blog posts. And of course, they can immediately start browsing for homes right there on the widget or use our, use our menu. What I don't want is a plain, boring 404 page. So what I want to show you today is how to create a 404, uh, how to customize your 404 page. And today we're going to look at if you have a WordPress website, I'm going to show you a plugin that makes this very simple that allow you to customize that 404. Otherwise, whatever web page you're using, just go into your default 404 page and ch edit that page. 
and so that it's it's got stuff on it that you, whatever it is that you want to have. Now we test and measure all of our pages in um, with heat maps, so we can see where people scroll, we can see where they click, we can test if, how that page is performing. Um, it's you you assume it's still going to have a pretty decent uh, bounce rate if people aren't finding what they're looking for, but we want to eliminate that as much as possible and get as much user engagement on the page. So we're constantly testing testing this out. And if you look at what this looks like on mobile, let me just shrink this down back here. Hold on, I just want to show you the mobile view. Okay, so if we just take this, shrink that down there, then we can see what this looks like on a mobile device. Now that I'm looking at this, I might want to move that testimonial down below those four buttons. We want to get them clicking as quick as quickly as possible. Okay, well that gives me something to do here. All right, so here's how this works. There is a plugin. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go over to um, our dashboard, and I'm going to go to plugins. Okay, now. All you have to do is go to add new and in plugins type in 404. Now there's lots and lots of choices but the one I'm using is this one right here. 404 page, your smart custom 404 error page. And um, you can take a look at that. You can look at the detail page, open this in a new tab and you can look at what this page offers and who built it and the support and that type of thing, okay? Lots of ways to play with this. But what this essentially does is it allows you to choose any 404 page on your website as the default 404. So if you've got kind of a sitemap, you actually could just change this and choose your sitemap. So let me show you. I'll go down here to um, Appearance. Once you install the plugin, so right here, by the way, if you're installing plugins for the first time, um, there will be a button here that says to download, and then you have to activate it. I've already downloaded mine. That's why it's not there. So you'll you'll go ahead. I mean, it'll, it'll say install now, not download. Install now. So you'll click the install now. It'll install it super quick, and then you just activate it. And then you'll find it here under the appearance. Go to 404 error page. Okay. Now here's your settings, and here is where you can drop down and choose any page on your website. So I could send them right to my homes for sale page, I could send them to a, a sitemap if it's showing up here in your page directory, or any other one of my pages that is here. So that's one way to handle that. As long as you know whatever page they're landing on is going to be an appropriate page for them, okay? Or, like I said, you can just edit your default 404 page, or you can add a new one. So in my case here, I did this kind of for a test to see how this would work, and I edited the 404 page, and here's what it looks like. We just looked at that a second ago. So if I click Edit, Oh, it's not going to let me edit it from there. Okay, so hold on. Let me go to my dashboard. And I'm going to go to uh, Pages. And we're going to type in here 404. There it is. I'm going to click Edit. Okay, and here's where I would edit this page. All right, so in my case, to create these testimonials and these little links that are uh, they're showing here, let me show you the page again. I'm using short codes from Short Codes Ultimate to create these little testimonials and these little um, icon plus links right here and these related posts. These are all just short codes, and these don't these are are, are pretty lightweight as far as plugins go. So. Um, so the page will still load in less than three seconds. And here, what we're able to do is see these short codes that I've typed in. But don't worry about those. You can just type in text. You can put in a video. You can put in images. If you're familiar with using short codes now and want to insert the short codes, it looks like this. 
You can insert buttons and videos and tooltips and boxes and all kinds of fun things. Then you can go ahead and add this. What I want to do is I'm going to move that testimonial widget because I actually want these links to be above that. I liked those better than the testimonial right out of the gate. So I'm going to put those there and put my dividers in the right place. All right, and then we're going to update this. We'll take a look at it. Much better, much, much better. All right, and so you can play with this once you set it up. That's all there is to it. Now let's take a look really quick over here where we saw our broken link, link showing up. Now, what this says here is that here's the URL. Let's go ahead and um, look at what happens. When somebody clicks on that URL, this is where they wind up, which is perfect. It's our custom 404 page. That's what we want. <clears throat> but actually, we want to fix the link so that that doesn't happen, okay? So here is the page that that link is on, okay? So here's the way I do this. Go to Edit URL, copy this broken link, open the page that it's on, close this out, Oh, I see what happened. I actually got rid of that page. I redirected that page. Okay, so here's what's happening. So for me, what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and um, I don't want to. I don't need to worry about this actually because this this page moved, so nobody's going to find this link there. So in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and click the unlink so that there's not a link out there on that page at all and then it disappears, okay? Now let's go ahead and look at another case. So in that particular case, just so that you're aware, the link was broken because the parent page that I had that link on was moved. And so that's why that page is no longer valid. So as long as that link's not out there anywhere else, it doesn't matter because the parent page was deleted. Nobody will ever find that link. It's okay just to unlink it and, and dismiss it. Now in this particular case, we have, let's take a look at our 99 things to do in Valentine's Day. Beautiful. Let's take a look at what's broken. I'm going to edit the URL and it looks like it's this Renaissance Las Vegas Steakhouse that's broken. Okay, so let me look at what happens when somebody types that in. Oh, it redirected, which is actually fine. So we're going to just change the link to this now instead of um, instead of where we were sending them, okay? So I'll go ahead and take this link here. I don't know why it's not actually just redirecting from the blog itself, it's showing as a broken link. So we'll just go ahead and correct it. We want it to be as accurate as possible. And so here we can just edit the URL by pasting that in there. Click update. Problem solved, recheck it. So I don't even have to go to the page to solve this error. How genius is that? I just love this. This is one of my favorite things why I've chosen WordPress is because the the for those of us that are, you know, really content driven, we build websites, we understand blogging, we understand video, we understand social media, and we're we're really driving our traffic through through multi channels. And it's not just a really back end nuts and bolts of SEO. We don't want to spend a lot of time on our websites figuring that all out. So anything that makes things quicker and easier for us is is amazing. And this is a great tool for that. Um, let's go ahead and fix this last one here. So. I'm going to open the link. It's Angie's list of Las Vegas pool builders. Okay. Oh, it looks like I'm sending them to a Google URL. And for some reason, that's not working. So let's edit the URL. Let 
me find a better one. Angie's list of pool builders. Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me find, hold on, let's do it this way. Pool Builders Las Vegas. Perfect. We'll use this one. Her top 10 list of pool builders in Las Vegas. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. Whoops, all the way. I'm going to go back to view the broken links. I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to update it. Let's see if that did what we needed it to do. Recheck. And fixed. And now see this broken link icon to the left? Watch what happens when I refresh. That number should disappear, and then I don't have any more broken links. So that is the way to fix this. Now, also, in um, SEMrush, if you're using SEMrush, which I highly recommend once it's in your budget and you can afford to do it, that would be um, here at semrush.com. Please use my link to check out this trial if you haven't done so already. Let me just log in. Now what you can do with SEMrush is you can set up projects. Once you set up a project, we'll go down here to projects and we'll take a look at this real estate one here. Then you can run a site audit on the project. And I'm at 100% because I spend a lot, I do pay attention to my um, site audits and I clean things up as quickly as possible. But if I look at this, at my site audit, what I'm able to see is if there were any 404 errors, any broken links, it would show up here. Watch, I'm going to click view all, all and see here how it shows um, pages have a www resolve issues, no title tags, duplicate tags, internal links are broken, pages could be crawled, broken links, external broken links, internal broken links. So an external broken link is what we were just looking at where we are linking out to that dining restaurant and that link was no longer good. And internal links would be linking to your own pages inside your own website. So if you're using this tool, this will also show you your broken link so that you can always keep that, keep those clean and monitored. And all of this is good for your search engine rankings. 404s don't necessarily hurt your, um, they're not necessarily part of the algorithm that ranks your pages or your website. However, they are, um, you know, it's a poor user experience. You don't want people landing on your website and bouncing off because they didn't find what they were looking for. So we want to we want to lower eliminate that as, as possible. All of these are quality signals. We want Google to, to know, know that our website is a quality website. And so having as few errors and, and typos and, and all, you know, pages that take too long to load, these are all an important piece of um, technical SEO that we want to make sure that we're focusing on so that we're, we're creating a, a, a great experience and sending those proper quality signals to Google. So that's what I have today for you on the 404 lesson, and I will see you on the next one.